welcome back to my channel please share these videos share it with your friends your families anyone you come across because we're pushing to get 1000 subscribers as soon as possible so please help us to reach that goal today i'll be talking about copper and i hope you watched my video on zinc so i'll be talking about the health benefits of copper the foods that are rich in copper signs and symptoms of copper deficiency and also signs and symptoms of ingesting too much copper so stay with me don't forget to like share and please subscribe so what are some of the health benefits of copper so copper is an important trace element that is important for growth and development it's also important for brain health and brain functioning it also helps to boost our immune system there was actually a study done where persons with athlete foot it was believed that the treatment that contained copper was more effective than those that didn't have um, copper um, in it as uh, one of the ingredients copper is also important for our brain function um, as mentioned earlier and it's also important for bone formation and strength so especially in menopausal women copper is found to decrease the rate at which the density of the bone is lost so it is very good in decreasing bone density loss in women especially um, those who are men uh, in going through menopause it helps in the melanin formation it can also decrease our risk of anxiety and depression and again in pregnant women a study was done where women who pregnant women who took copper supplements their chances of having anxiety and depression was less compared to women who were pregnant and did not take copper supplements it's also important in maintaining healthy heart and blood vessel function and structure and it's also known to aid in the formation of new blood vessels it aids in collagen production and stimulating collagen collagen production so it helps to maintain the strength function and structure of the skin so you have nice pliable strong skin that doesn't tear easily it gives the hair and maintains the hair's normal skin color so again you can see that one of the side effects can be um, premature aging it helps in energy production as well what are some of the foods rich in copper so you have what seeds such as poppy seeds sunflower seeds sesame seed you have nuts such, such as brazil nuts cashew nuts there's liver beef um oysters lobsters you have almonds dark chocolate of course your green leafy vegetables the shiitake mushrooms spirulina chickpea cereals oats these are just some of the not sure if i said fish but these are just some of the foods that are rich in copper so what are the signs of copper deficiency so we know that copper aids in brain functioning and uh, it actually helps with learning memory thinking concentration attention span so if you are copper deficient then you stand the risk of poor memory you have problems learning problems with attention span and difficulty focusing is copper is important for bone formation and so persons who are deficient in copper they will end up with brittle bones and the bone that becomes deformed and breaks easily and they'll also have problems walking 
there is also the chance of being anemic and so these persons are going to be weak they're going to be um tired all the times because they're anemic they they will have decreased immune function because one of the it benefits of copper is that it boosts your immune system and so persons who are deficient will also be sick often and so their immune system is decreased they will also have problems like heart problems because remember copper helps to maintain the, stru the structure and function of the heart and the blood vessels um, it can also affect certain glands and organs, glands such as the pancreas or even the thyroid gland. So you may have abnormal functioning of these glands. You can also have problems breathing. It can affect your lungs, affect your um, kidneys if you have um, too little copper intake. Now with anything you want to be, you want to exercise temperance because excess copper intake it can result in you can have sudden mood swings you can be sad or end up having um, a depressive state you can have nausea vomiting and the vomitus may contain blood in it when you actually vomit you'll have abdominal cramps even though being iron deficient can lead to anemia taking in excess iron can also lead to anemia you'll also develop jaundice because the liver is affected so when you look in somebody's eyes and it looks yellow that's a sign of jaundice so copper toxicity or excess intake of copper can lead to jaundice because your liver has been affect affected that persons who have excess copper intake can end up being anxious, irritable. They'll um, have decreased attention span, just like when you're copper deficient. You'll have muscle pain. Um, also, if it's long term, you can have damage to the liver, the kidney, the brain, and also the heart. So again, it's always good to be temperate in anything. So thank you for watching this video. I'm sure again, as always, I have not exhausted the information that's out there on copper. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe.